Stanislaw here with Motion VFX, and I'm really excited to tell you all about MBundle Vlogger. If you're a content creator, having some great looking motion graphics can make a lasting impression on your viewers. This is probably the biggest pack I've ever covered for Motion VFX, and it might just be the ultimate collection of titles and templates for creators using Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion. There are literally hundreds of different templates to choose from, including titles, intro animations, animated icons, social media stories, charts and graphs, and so much more. These are the kinds of graphics and animations to give your projects that extra polish to really stand out. All of the different templates included are completely customizable, meaning you can dial in your specific style to fit your brand or channel. I've been a technical trainer and a television motion broadcast artist for almost a decade. And this one pack might just be a one-stop shop for everything from fast turnaround mobile news, social media stories, channels and tutorials, and everything in between. So let's talk about what's included in this bundle and how to use some of these products inside Final Cut Pro. Once you've downloaded and installed MBundle Vlogger, you will find the templates in the Titles and Generators tab of Final Cut Pro. Since we're here on YouTube, let's start with MTuber by clicking on the category to view all the templates. Within all the different products for Motion VFX, the templates are broken up into different categories. There's buttons and icons, end slates, titles, tools, transitions, and video thumbnails. To preview any of them, just hover your mouse cursor over them right inside the browser. Let's take a quick look at how to use one of these. In this project, I have a background from MTuber2, which we'll take a look at in just a minute. I'll choose one of these title templates and drag it right into my timeline. Each of these templates are designed with build-in and build-out animations. And what I love about them is you can instantly change the duration of these without messing up the animation. Just click and drag the handle to a new duration and it works just like you'd expect. To change any of the text, just click right in the canvas and type away. Inside the canvas, you've probably noticed this little circle. If you're new to some of these tools, this is the on-screen control that's included in many of the templates. This won't show up in your exports and is a tool to reposition the different items. Click and drag it to where you'd like it to be. Now, what if you wanted to make changes to any of these title templates, like the layout or the font or other items? Well, all of these different templates are designed to be used as is, but you can make changes and customize any of them by using the inspector. Let's take a look. So make sure you have your template selected in the timeline and then click the inspector icon. Next, make sure you click the little T icon to show the title inspector. Here, you can adjust the animation in and out, manually adjust the position, scale, and see all your other options. Each template will have its own set of unique controls, but many of them will also have some of the same common control options like position or color controls. So be sure to look in the inspector panel whenever you're looking to customize any of the templates included in this bundle. Before we move on to the next pack, Let's talk about some of the tools that are included with MTuber. They're a great set that can be used in a variety of different ways. Using this circle, I can highlight this building and make some adjustments to the size and location. Using the keyframing tools inside Final Cut Pro, I can mark where I want to start and stop the movement of the circle to follow this building on the screen. Just click the keyframe icon to start, play, or move the playhead forward, and then move the template using the on-screen controls we talked about earlier. Now I want to replace this item. So I'll select a new one and place it right on top of the previous one and wait for it to highlight and release the cursor and choose replace. Let's also add the search bar and replace the text.
It's a little tight on this side. I'll adjust the settings in my inspector, and while here, I'll change the color by clicking this color well. There's a lot more to MTuber, but to make sure we cover everything else, let's move on to the next section. So now that we've seen MTuber, what about MTuber 2? Well, inside MTuber 2 is a whole new set of different titles and templates, including animated backgrounds that are completely customizable, intro animations, social media icons, end slates, and a few more tools. In fact, I put together a whole separate tutorial just talking about MTuber 2 that looks like this. And you can see the link in the description below. Let's take a deeper look at MTuber 2 and how to use some of these titles. Included are backgrounds, new end screens, more animated icons, great looking logo animations, pointers, social media icons, subscriber call to actions, and titles. Speaking of which, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up to date on all the tutorials and products Motion VFX has to offer. In this video, you've seen several of these templates have drop zones, and this is a great easy way to put pictures or videos directly into your project. Let's take a look at how to use these inside one of our templates. I'm going to pick this social media end screen and place it in my timeline. Inside the inspector, I'll use the checkbox to turn off one of my drop zones. Next, I'll position the other using the inspector controls. To fill the drop zone, click the drop zone well, and then choose an image or video from your library. Next, click apply. That's all there is to it. One quick note, whatever frame you have highlighted in your video when you choose it for your drop zone will be the first frame it uses during the animation. Next up is M Stories, a collection of 50 different templates specifically designed for desktop or mobile platforms. What makes this pack unique is that all the different templates are specially designed to work either horizontally or in a vertical format, making it perfect for social media stories. Inside are more animated icons and special call to actions to increase engagements from your viewers. Let's take a look at that. I've set up a 1080 by 1920 timeline and I've placed a clip to use as my background. I'll grab an M Stories template and place it above my clip. Next, I'll fill the drop zones just like we covered before and click apply. Because of my sizing of these different drop zones, I'll need to adjust the contents, and that's exactly what the drop zone pan and scale controls will do. I'll place a call to action above, add a few animated icons, and within just a few seconds, I have a completed story to place on my favorite social media platform of my choice. I've covered this one in depth as well, and you can find a whole tutorial dedicated just to this and setting up vertical video inside the description below. Now, for those of you that are creating comparison videos or maybe reviewing specific features of a product, that's what M Features is really great for. It's a collection of different templates that lets you quickly and easily show the features or specifics of a product. M Features is an excellent set of backgrounds, icons, lists, diagrams, titles, and charts that are all customizable. One of my favorite things about this pack is the ability to instantly change the number of items using the dropdown without having to rebuild and reformat a whole motion project every time I want to add or subtract an item. This alone is a huge time saver if you're looking to make these kinds of animations. Just like several of the other packs included the M Bundle Vlogger, Motion VFX and yours truly have a longer tutorial all about using M features. Next up is M Pointers, a collection of animated arrows, icons, and shapes to help you, well, point something out. At first glance, this may look like just another set of animated icons, but once you get into it, 
it has a whole tracker built specifically to help you follow anything on your screen in just a couple clicks. In this quick demo, I have a few features I want to showcase on this camera. I'll drag my pointer onto my clip, set my track point, and click track. Once it's tracked, it stays perfectly aligned to your object. As a tip, try to make sure nothing intersects what you want to track and it stays visible on screen for the entire duration of the template in your timeline. It's easy to change the color of your icons, and if you need it to stand out more, use the glow and drop shadow controls. Next up is mTag, a collection of different titles and templates geared specifically to let your viewers know about your next great sale, including different backgrounds, animations with drop zones, different typography elements, and animated icons. Using the same clip I use as a background from M Stories, I'll place a new background on and add one of the tag templates to it. Next, I'll have that replaced by another template that I can place a clip of this jewelry in, making it a perfect addition to go with the story I created with M Stories just a few minutes ago. Last but not least is M Intro. There's something to be said about making a great first impression, and I hear from a lot of different content creators that making a great looking and professional intro for their channel or brand can be really challenging or time consuming. So if you've ever wanted to create a great looking intro for your channel or brand, this pack has 30 different customizable ones to choose from. Select one of these great intros and place it in your timeline. Open the inspector and place your logo right inside the drop zone. To fine tune your layout, use the pan and scale controls. As a tip, make sure your logo is a PNG graphic with a transparent background for best results. Don't have a logo? No problem. Just change your type from drop zone to text and change your text. Just like all the other templates, there's lots of customization options, so you can build out your own unique style. This is easily the biggest collection of templates that I've ever talked about. And as I mentioned before, there's literally hundreds to choose from. M Bundle Vlogger offers almost everything you need to put together some great looking content in whatever platform you choose in a fast and easy way. I'm Stanislaw with Motion VFX, and for more great templates, plugins, and tutorials, be sure to visit motionvfx.com. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.